What makes the perfect landing page? Hi guys, Jamie here, and if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about product development in Angular, Ionic, and Firebase. All right, and what is a landing page in the first place? Well, that's just some page on your website where you're sending users. It could be your homepage, all right, or it could be a page specifically designed to you know, gather some information, gather an email, you know, get users to sign up for a newsletter or something like that. All right, so a landing page can have many different forms, but I'm gonna show you um, how I like to build my landing pages, okay? So this is the basic design. Up here at the top, I have like some sort of header, like H1 maybe, up here explaining exactly what is going on. All right, and then I have like a video, you know, explaining um, in video form what is going on and in more details. And then I have like some sort of action button. All right, so that's it, header, video, and action. All right, and why do I choose these specific three elements? Well, no one really reads all the text on a page anyways, so we don't need like a lot of details. All right, I like a header because it lets people know exactly what's going on. All right, and I like video because video is very high converting, like people who watch a video are more engaged than people who read some text. And also, if people are watching a video on your home page, that'll boost your ranking in things like Google. If people stay on your, on your page longer, it's better for your site, your site's SEO or search engine optimization. All right, and then lastly, I like an action button, a single action button, because um, I want the users to have a clear action of what they should be doing, not tons of options, just a single single purpose for that page. And let's use this formula to build a landing page right now. All right, and I'm going to use Angular to do this. So I'm going to hop over to my code editor. All right, and I'm not really going to explain like what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of do it. If you're interested in more like a tutorial, I just finished my full course on Angular. Um, so if you're interested in learning, you should check out the link in the description for that. All right, but with that said, let's get our new project set up. There we go. Sure, we'll have routing SCSS. All right, let's open up this project. Okay, let's remove all this default stuff. We only need these three pieces once again, header, video, and action. Let's declare those right now. H1, all right, my landing page. We need a video iframe. Okay, and what was the last piece? We need an action. So let's use a button. All right, and let's install Angular Material to make sure that um, all this stuff looks good by default. Okay, let's go with Indigo Pink. Um, sure, Hammer.js. Yep, defaults for that. All right, let's serve it up. And while it's doing that, let's set up this action button. Okay, it looks like it's all done. Let's go and check it out on the local host. All right, not too shabby, needs a little bit of cleanup. And of course we need a um, link for that video. So let's go grab a link for the video first. We'll just grab my previous video, copy a link to that and then head back over to the page and set the source for the iframe to that. There we go. All right, and then what else was wrong with our page? We also want this to be centered. All right, so let's put all this stuff in a div called like um, homepage, homepage, right? Put it in there, add a little bit of styles to it. Text align center. All right, let's see how we're looking. All right, now it's centered, but the button is not. So let's go fix that button, put it on a new line down here. All right, maybe put this iframe in a div actually as well. Call it a video container. There we go, that's looking a lot better. But for some reason, this video isn't loading. Let's see, we have an error. Failed to display. Oh, that's because we need to embed the video using the embed code, so I believe that's like this, embed, let's try that. There we go, so now it's working. All right, and this button is not an angular material button yet. Let's go make it an angular material button. Matte raised button, color primary. And we also gotta import the button from angular material. Okay, then add it down here as well. There we go, so now our button should work. All right, there it is, looking much better. And lastly, I'd like to make this video size up properly. It's a little bit too small. So let's see if we can style that properly. All right, so for this iframe, let's say we have two different styles, one for a large screen and one for a smaller screen. 
So let's start out with the larger screen. All right, so let's add a width and height to this iframe. Width be like 512px maybe. Um, height, we'll just kind of play with this until it looks right. Right, 288, that looks fine. So we'll just copy those and add them to the app component of CSS. There we go. All right, and we only want this style if it is like a certain size. So let's add a media query right here. And we'll put like, you know, 512 pixels right here. So as soon as it is that big, then we're gonna manually set the width to be these. All right, and width and height. Because by default, it resizes pretty well for smaller screens. So let's see how that looks. Resizing it. All right, shrinks with smaller, and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Great, awesome. So guys, that's working all really well. This is like the default landing page I like to have. You know, I can put some other text in here if I want as well. You know, like maybe some paragraphs down here by the action button. We could put a paragraph right there, so let's do that. Paragraph, maybe another paragraph, you know, as many as I want. Um, you know, convincing them to do the action, whatever that may be. Let's add another paragraph here. There we go, let's check that out. All right, and there we go, there's our own custom landing page. All right, video plays just fine. So and yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, if you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. All right, share with your friends, whatever you gotta do. I would appreciate it very much. And thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.